Hey, what's going on guys? If you stumble across this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I went from being a skinny, acne-filled loser with no confidence, no discipline, no care of myself to gaining 25 pounds of muscle, full confidence, completely maximizing my looks, completely changing my mindset. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step on how you can change your mindset, how you can change your physique and get your dream physique, gain muscle, get those abs, get that superhero body you always wanted and completely transform your look. Like I did it, you can do it. I'm gonna be going in depth step by step. So if you're curious on doing those three things, I highly suggest you watch this video because when I tell you I literally was reborn, like I rebirthed, <laughs> you're gonna see what I'm talking about. Mac Method Gang. We back with a very, very, very special video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys exactly how I gained 25 pounds of muscle without crazy meal prepping, intense meal prepping, while maximizing my looks and creating an unbreakable mindset in 120 days. I don't even have before, after, before, after. No confidence, confidence just man okay i went from being a skinny twig i was 149 pounds i was unconfident socially awkward i was a loser had nothing going for myself man i was an outcast bro i was sh i was i didn't want to i i was a i was an outcast i was a loser i didn't want to i had no confidence i had i had nothing going okay and now i'm 170 i'm 173 pounds confident lean muscle you know what i mean um got the look got the physique got the confidence got the style um i understand both sides of the spectrum okay clearly you can see this to this it, it's night and day and you're gonna see it gets even worse <laughs> it gets even worse it gets even worse i lit i'm trying to tell you guys Oh, man, let's get straight into it. Who this Mac method program is for. It's for people. You know what I mean? You're tired of being overlooked. You had enough. Okay, it's done with. You're done being insecure with yourself. You're ready to take control of your life. You're ready to take control. Most important thing, you got to be ready to control your It is your life, bro. So control it. If you're hardworking, this is for you. And if you're ready to ascend, this is for you. Are you ready to destroy your old self and basically have a rebirth? I went through like five and you're about to see it. You know, literally have a rebirth. Okay. So if all this applies to you, this is for you, man. But. If you're not willing to work out in the gym for an hour, you know what I mean? Go to the gym every day. Just get off the video. Like, don't even... It's not It's not worth it. You know what I mean? If you're not willing to sacrifice your shit diet, if you're eating garbage, you don't want to change it, you don't want to... This is not for you, bro. Just get... It's not... Just get off. You know what I mean? If you're not able to set your standards higher, this is not for you. If you're not ready... Bro, the reason why... I'm going to get into that later, but let's keep going. If you're looking for shortcuts, this is not for you. And if you're a bitch, just get off the video. Like, straight up. Don't even watch the video. Just get off. Because it's not it's not going to work, bro. Whatever. It, it's not. Just get off the video. Um, so, I'm going to be straight up honest. There's no shortcut to getting the dream physique or the look. But the program, the Mac Method program... My program is going to guide you in that direction to get what you desire. The worst thing you could do is try to look for something or try to get somewhere with no roadmap, no GPS, nothing. It's like if I went sailing and I'm trying to get to a location, I'm trying to get to an island or whatever, but I have no map. So it's like, yeah, I'm sailing, I'm doing something, but... It's going to take me forever to get there, or I might never even get there. I probably passed that. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know where I'm going. So it took me a long time, a long time, six years, six years. I started in 2018. That's when I started working out. That was my first thing I started doing. That was the only thing I did. You know what I mean? Um, 
It took me a long time to get the progress because I had no direction. I had zero direction. As long as you stay consistent and follow, success is guaranteed. 100% guaranteed. Failure hates persistence. This is what I was talking about, the rebirth, man. Guys, look. Like, look at this. Cystic acne all over my face. Zero grooming. Look at... This literally looks like roadkill. Like, this is crazy. My eyebrows. Look at the haircut. Look. <laughs> zero confidence, okay? Zero. Absolute zero. I literally used to walk around in school... When I look like this, with a hoodie on, all black, I did not want to see seen, head down, didn't talk to anyone. Yeah, I had like two friends. That's all I did. That's all I talked to. I did not want to, man, that was, that was, that's how I did it, bro. And then eventually I finally got, you know, clear skin, but I still look at, bro. Look at the glasses. Look at the cut, man. Look at the... Bro, I still had no confidence. If I had zero confidence here, this was like 10%, 15% because of... um, I got rid of the acne or whatever. And I started working out. At this point, I started working out a little bit. Then we got this. This is... At this point, you can clearly see... <laughs> you can clearly see the difference. And it's not even funny. Look at the hair. Look at the eyebrows. Look at the grooming. Look at the skin. Look at my attire. In this, I'm wearing like some, like, I had no style. Look, I'm wearing a nice fitted shirt, a button up shirt. And then, literally ascended to this. And honestly, this might be, like, peak. This is prime. You know what I mean? I'm in my prime. I might not even be in my prime now. This is probably a second peak because I still got a lot of ways to go. I'm always getting better. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, basically I went from this to this. And you can too. That's the thing. You can too. You can too. You just got to stop being a bitch. Stop being a bitch. Look, stop being a bitch. It's time for you to ascend. This is base form. If you know anything about Dragon Ball Z, anything like that, this is literally base form to Super Saiyan 1. I wouldn't even call it Super Saiyan 1, but if we're doing that, transformations, it's Super Saiyan 1 to Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3. Or if I'm really being honest, Super Saiyan God. No, let me stop, but we'll move on, okay? So now you can clearly see what I'm talking about. Don't worry, I'm not going to let that happen to you. There's no such thing as a shortcut when it comes to this, but this is a lifeline to break you free from the chains to become unchained. If you know anything about me, I always talk about having an unchained mindset. What's an unchained mindset? It's basically having an unbreakable mindset. It's being unchained. We limit ourselves. We put ourselves on these shackles. We have a scarce, uh, a, you know, what's it called? A scarcity mindset. You know what I mean? We put all these limiting beliefs on ourselves that, oh, well, we can't do this or, oh, well, um, you know, that body, I can't get it or uh, that's not meant for me or this opportunity is not meant for me or I, I don't know if I can ever do that job or that job is only they can. Do. We put all these stupid like this crap that is false. Dude, that's what I was doing. That's what I did. That's what my whole life until I started really changing it was because I had limited beliefs. I was not, I was chained. I was chained to the limited beliefs that I have. The shackles that I placed on myself is the reason why it took me so long to get out of this. And I'm trying to stop you guys from doing the same thing that I did so you can be free. And I know you guys are chained down right now. You are, but you can break free, bro. You can, you can become unchained. You can become unchained in any facet, in your looks, in your physicality, in your demeanor, in your mindset, and most importantly, you, you can, bro. If you want to be that person you always wanted to become, if you want to really level up, change your identity, rebuild, rebirth, transform, literally turn Super Saiyan, bro. 
I'm going to show you exactly how in the Mac method program, how to develop an unchained mindset, how to improve your looks, how to be confident in yourself, which is a byproduct of improving your physique and your confidence and your mindset. You, or sorry not confidence your physique your looks and your mindset is gonna is, the confidence is a byproduct of this it's a byproduct of this you're not confident now because i'll get this you'll, you'll see what i mean i'm not going to talk about it in this slide you're going to see what i mean because i'm going to talk about it in this slide in case you don't know me this is a backstory a little bit of backstory i was born in a small island in the caribbean curacao is the name in english it's Curacao, but the real way to pronounce it is Curacao, okay? I speak three languages. Obviously English, Spanish, Bobby Mento. Moved to New York for a little bit, um, fairly short period of time. Then I moved to CT, and I've been here ever since. I'm just going to fast forward because no one really cares about this. I'm just giving you a, a brief backstory. Fast forward to middle school and high school. Um, I was a loser, okay? <laughs> I was. I'm not afraid to admit it. I was a complete loser. I was 149 pounds. And I wasn't a loser because of 149 pounds or I was skinny. I was a loser because I had no... I, dude, I had no social skills. I had no routine. I had no direction. I had no nothing. Dude, I was, I was the biggest outcast, invisible guy. I had two friends. And I just, like, I didn't... I just didn't... I wasn't confident, bro. I had no I had no reason to be either. And the reason why I had no reason to be is because I was freaking addicted to pornography. I played video games for like 12 hours a day, sun up to sundown, literally. What I ate during the day, you don't even want to know what I ate during the day. I'd wake up, okay? This is what I would eat for breakfast. I literally have a 12 um, pack of Oreos with milk mashed up in a bowl. <laughs> And then I would add Cinnamon Toast Crunch or Cocoa Pebbles. I love those, by the way. Mix it up. That was my breakfast. That was my first meal of the day. Okay. Then, my next meal of the day would be ramen noodles. And then I would, I don't even think I ate the, like a third meal of the day. And if I did, it was more Oreos and more garbage, soda, juice. Oh, don't even get me started on the juice. I used to, like, the super sugary orange, um... What's the brand? I forgot the brand. But orange juice with a mad sugar. Like, you're damn near, basically, you're drinking soda. That's what I would drink with the Oreo um, concoction that I made. <laughs> That's what I was feeding myself, okay? And while being addicted to pornography and while um, playing 12 hours a day. During the summer, I would literally play... Till 7 in the morning, like I would wake up mad early, 7 in the morning, and play till the next day, till like 4 in the morning. I would sleep, I would wake up sometimes at 3 in the afternoon, 5 in the afternoon, whatever, and the first thing I would do when I wake up is play the game. Just literally turn on my computer and get on the game. Like, dude, I was a freaking loser, bro. Loser shit, that's loser, that's... Bro, and then I'm wondering why I don't have confidence in myself. Of course I'm not going to have confidence in myself, what the... But, dude, anyways, let's go. Let's keep going. Listen, so when I turned 21, at this point, I already kind of started the journey, right? I, I didn't have a clear plan yet. I didn't have everything, but I started working out. I started sort of, hey, let me experiment with my looks. I was still, um, you know, still not really 100% because I was still playing video games nowhere near as much as I was before. But I was still on that, and I was still, sometimes I was still... You know what I mean? Beat off. I'm going to be completely honest. Okay. But it definitely was changing. It definitely was. I was transcending. I was definitely changing. So when I turned 21, um, obviously I can start drinking now. I can go out. Although I never got addicted to any drugs or anything like that. I never was anything like that. Like weed or hard drugs, pills, nothing. Um, even Not even drinking. But when I was able to go out. I was slowly falling into the trap of lonely looking forward to the weekend because of going out. Like, I wouldn't drink during the week or anything like that. Um, but, obviously, during the weekend, I can go out. So, all I cared about for six months when I turned 21, literally, six months straight, 
I get went out every Friday and Saturday. Every Friday and Saturday, I would drink, take shots, drink like crazy. My tolerance was insane. You know what I mean? And um, that's all I look forward to. I didn't care about anything else. I didn't really, my, like, I'm literally living for the weekend. Like, I'm only living to look forward for the weekend. This is a horrible life. I'm still, and at this point, like I said, I was sort of trying to, but still, I, it's still, I'm not there. You know what I mean? Anyways, this is me when I was young. This is me in, I believe this is sophomore year of um, high school. I was in track. Uh, you can see my haircut. <laughs> then you can see you see, you see me slowly transforming. I'm I'm working out more. This is senior year. Um, you know hairstyles stuff. Uh, let's see. Then this is oh no sorry this is junior year. My bad. This is senior year. I graduate. I was actually nice as hell in track, so I got a bunch of medals and stuff like that. My fam. Twenty one right here. This was when I was freaking off when I was drunk as hell. I was, I think I was crossed at this point. My shirt is on backwards. I actually have a video of this, and it's literally me screaming at the top of my lungs, swearing like crazy, mad as hell, completely drunk and belligerent. And then I quit drinking pretty much completely. And then started boxing, started really, like I said, I was working out already, but I, I changed everything. Like I stopped going out. And I just was super on just developing myself, literally. So, um, I got tired of this mediocre life. My mom did not sacrifice her entire life for me to be a loser. Literally, literally. Your parents sacrificed so much for you, for you to sit there and become a fucking loser. What the fuck? Like, you suck, bro. And that's basically what I had to get in my head. So, let's move on. The Mac Method is my program to become unchained okay like i said break free from the mental restraints and shackles the limiting beliefs you have on yourself break free bro it's time it's done it's done um i built this through my own trial and error like i said six years man i started 2018 and now we're in 2024 and i'm still going but it really was six years um around trial and error by breaking myself free from the shackles i placed on myself now I've decided to break this all down for you for free. Look at this. Looking at these pictures is so crazy to me. Look. Just look at it. Look at the pictures. Look. Dude. I'm damn near. Like, what? <laughs> oh, this is so funny. This is so funny because you guys think it's not possible for you. Dumbass. It's possible for you, dude. It's, dude, it's right there. You just, if you got this far so far, you're ready, bro. Just keep going. Let's, but let's keep going, though. Let's keep going. Following steps. Outline the entire, I'll outline the entire process A to Z of what I did to accomplish these results. So you can, too, use the MAC method to get your dream physique, upgrade your looks, and develop the unchained mindset. Yes. Yes, I'm going to outline the entire process on how I did this. So you don't have to spend six years doing this. Like I said, I took a long time doing this. This is a complete outline. Dude, this is literally a like step-by-step -step guide. Everything you need to do. All you have to do is take control, stop being a bitch, and just put in the work. Okay, no excuses, no complaining. You have it right here. You're going to get it way faster than I did. Six years? That's how long it took for me because I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. So this is a process over you. We're connecting the dots. Basically, I'm going to explain to you guys the framework, what it is. What is the Mac method? What, what the hell are we doing here? <sighs> okay, let's get into it. So in order to understand the Mac method, you need to understand the three tenets of man. This is my three tenets of man, okay? This is, this is it, bro. The three tenets. I broke it down simply. In mastering these three tenets, you will create a new reality of yourself, a truly unchained being. Dude, break free. <laughs> Fucking it. Bro, we're like hulks in this bitch, bro. We're, we're done. Dude, we're done being tamed animals. We're not fucking poodles, bro. We're wolves out here. That's how I think, bro. We're, we're man, unchained mindset, tenant one. Number one thing is your mindset. Your mindset. How do you think? What is your routine? What are you doing? 
are you tracking are you tracking your goals what is your goals what are you doing to get to your goals small wins are you man you gotta get your mind right bro the mind controls the body okay the mind controls the body what you think what you believe forms your reality when i didn't believe any of the stuff that i believe now when i didn't think that i can get that body when i didn't think i can get upgrade my looks when i didn't think i can upgrade my style swag i can talk to people you know charisma all this crap dude i didn't have any of it because i didn't believe i can do that as soon as i started believing as soon as i started really putting effort trying doing this guess what i got the look now i got the physique now i got the mindset now i got the confidence now i got the charisma now and i got it now because the, the fucking mind it's the mind bro anyways physique the dream physique you gotta start building the physique bro yeah we want that look stop lying you know you want the fucking look bro you want the lean aesthetic physique you want the muscle you want to get rid of the fat you want to put on some fucking size you want to look good you want to feel good because you 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 know what it is i don't even know how to explain that so we're gonna go exactly on how to do that how do you do that well that's why i said you gotta be able to sacrifice your shit ass diet dude what you're doing is not working bro it's not so stop fucking doing it get rid of your shit ass diet you know what i mean you're gonna track your diet it's not gonna be overly complicated but you're gonna we're gonna have a basic idea of what the hell you're doing you're gonna track your diet we're gonna track your workouts you're gonna have a workout my fucking workout routine the macros the tracking and if you do that shit you're gonna get your fucking body you're gonna get the body bro and now looks maxing okay at this point you have the body all the stuff you're gonna be working on simultaneously but let's go into 10 and 3 looks maxing your look at this point you're building the body whatever like i said but you still need to get your face right you need to get your look right you need to get your swag right your style right your demeanor right your scent right all this stuff is looks maxing dream physique is body game solely body looks maxing is your hair your grooming your scent your teeth your fucking what what the fuck dude all that shit okay you can clearly see from my shit i had crazy acne no grooming fucking what the dude Hey, hairstyle was crazy. My swag was atrocious, bro. I had nothing, nothing. And I don't want to make this seem like all I care about is just, oh, that look and exterior. You're going to see that this shit, this is the marketing. This is the branding of what you want, okay? Because this is not everything. And you're going to see what I mean. I'm going to talk about this in later. Uh, in, the, in a couple slides, you'll see what I'm talking about. This is not everything at all. But this is major. This is major. How are you branding yourself? How do you look, dude? Is your hair right? Is your grooming right? Do you look presentable? Do you feel confident? Because once you look good, you feel good. That's just the honest to God truth. When you look good, you fucking feel good. You feel good, bro. You want to feel good. <laughs> you do. And once you have all this three shit, bro. God, man. Dude, I'm fucking amped right now. But yeah, we're going to get your grooming right, we're going to get your swag right, we're going to get your scent right, you're going to get your style right, you're going to get all that shit fucking right, bro. All of it, all of it, because it's all, it's all going to lead to the, to the being, the new identity, the rebirth, the transformation from fucking base level to super saiyan god to uh, damn near ultra instinct. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, you know what I mean? So, let's see here. Uh, hold on one second, guys. All right, so I can finally demonstrate to you how each stage of the program will take you to the next level in becoming the best version of yourself. Okay? Step by step, I'm going to show you each stage. We went over the three tenets of man. This is each stage. Unchained mindset. Unchained fucking mindset. Dude, I just touched on it, but I'm going to go over it again because I have to go over it again optimistic outlook only you only want an optimistic outlook bro stop being pessimistic stop looking at the glass half empty you need to look at that shit half full because that bitch is half full yeah it's half empty but fuck that dude i'm looking at it because it's half full you need to have a optimistic outlook 
Stop thinking negative of everything. Once you see that glass half empty, bro, it's over with. Because you're only thinking about the negatives. Because this pertains to everything, right? You start, you want to do a new hobby. You want to do a new this, new job, new whatever. You're going to keep, oh, well, what if it doesn't work? Or, oh, well, oh, well, you know, I don't know. What if it goes wrong? And this and that. And, oh, well, I don't know if I can. Dude, you're, you're setting yourself for failure already. What? What? Why would you want to set yourself up for failure? That's what my dumbass was doing before. Oh, I don't know if I can get the bu- uh, w- training. What the bu- oh, man, dude, fuck that shit. You need an optimistic outlook only, dude. Only think of the good that can come out of it. Because nine seven ten, if you're trying to do something good that's gonna better yourself, it's gonna better you. But who cares if it doesn't work, dude? Try it. Take risk. Or you're going to stay stagnant and you're never going to rebirth. You're never going to transform. You're never going to become unchained, bro. You're going to stay chained and you're going to stay. Bro, the whole point of this shit is to not be like how you were. So stop fucking looking at this shit. Pes- have a pessimistic outlook, bro. The same way you reboot a computer, you must reboot your brain. Basically what I'm touching on. You got to, bro, you got to restart that shit. You know how your computer gets filled with viruses and all this bullshit like the brain rot that we see the scrolling the instant gratification the dopamine all this shit dude your your computer now your brain is filled with viruses and shit so much storage back up no ability to think no ability to do anything dude you need to fucking restart it reboot erase wipe the shit out because we're starting from scratch bro and we're about to build the best fucking computer the best pc whatever the whatever the hell you want to pro this to we're rebuilding it we're rebranding it we're fucking dude it's new bro it's, it's a brand new shit brand new system updated ios 23 bro this is it all right feed the brain your brain the right information so once you restart now you got to feed your shit the right info the routine you know what i mean information on whatever you want to learn looks body whatever Whatever the hell you want to learn, bro. The right information. You want to upgrade your finances? Start learning that. You want to stop playing games? Start learning that. Whatever, dude. You got to feed that shit the right info. You know what I mean? An abundance mindset. Dude, this is like the most important. Abundance mindset. You got to get out of being in scarcity. You deserve more. When you put the effort and you got the routine and you know you're putting in the work, you deserve more. You deserve more. Because you earned it. You actually earned it. You actually are trying for it. You have an abundance mindset. You know there's more opportunities out there. You know you know there's more chances out there. You know there's more things out there. You don't have to be so so like in this scarcity to where oh if I lose this my life is gone and oh if I you know oh dude I was there. Get the get out of dude. You're never gonna you're never going to like transcend. You're gonna be forever stuck. You're gonna be forever chained. Be fucking unchained all right dream physique let's get straight to it body game bro your body's your temple dude i was treating my temple like shit i told you i was eating 12 packs of oreos every fucking day ramen noodles fucking soda bullshit i felt like garbage i would sleep for two hours wake up play the game for 12 hours what the fuck of course i'm gonna feel unconfident of course i'm gonna be unconfident i'm gonna feel like ass i'm gonna bro what the hell who the hell wouldn't be unconfident if they're doing what i was doing another picture this to fucking dude what the i'm gonna bro i'm getting pissed i'm not even getting pissed i'm just like like just look at it just look at the do we even have to go over this shit bro you're fat you're not a fat and skinny guy anymore. You got to get rid of that head. If you're fat as hell right now watching this shit, fuck that. You know you're in this shit because you're done doing that. You're trying to grow the physique. You're trying to build the muscle, bro. You're trying to build the physique and the aesthetic physique. So you can't think like that fat guy anymore. So your ass better not be eating shit. You better be trucking because guess what? The guy that's fit and aesthetic and fucking drag, bro. He's on his shit. He's tracking his shit. He's eating healthy. He's not doing the bullshit that the fat ass is doing. And the same with the skinny guy. Bro. 
Same thing. You goofy. You're not skinny anymore. You gotta get that out of your mind. You're, you're aesthetic and you're trying to build muscle now. What? Hmm. I wonder what the muscle, the guy that's building muscle and you know, what is he doing? He's definitely not doing what the fuck the skinny guy's doing. He's not eating foods. He's getting, dude, he's not doing. <sighs> I'm, I'm, Rome was not built in a day. Let me just keep going. Rome was not built in a day, bro. Look, this isn't going to happen overnight. This isn't going to happen in a month. This isn't going to happen in two months. This isn't going to happen in three months. But the beauty of this is that the progress is going to, you're going to see the results from month, from month one to month two to month three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fucking a year, bro. You're going to keep seeing that shit, especially if you're tracking and you're doing what the fuck you need to do. You're going to see it. You're going to see it. Now, like I said, I'm not saying you're going to transform to a Greek god in a month. You're not. Okay? You're not. But you're going to see massive progress. You saw my fucking progress pictures from how I looked. That was six years because I had no clue of anything. Dude, I'm, I'm knocking down. I'm so fucking amp right now. I'm knocking down my lights. Man, the sweet art of body game. I'm just going to self fucking explain it, sorry. But the sweet art of body game, dude. The sweet art of body game. The sweet art. Guys, let's be completely real. People always want to say, oh, I don't judge a book by its cover. Oh, uh, well. Yes, you do, bro. We all do. Okay? Now, I'm not saying you should write someone off completely just because of their body. That's stupid. But the initial, like I was saying before, the marketing, the branding, when you see someone that's jacked and ripped and just they look right, they're putting fitted clothing, they just they just look good. You have you subconsciously, innately, human nature, bro, you have respect for that person because you can tell, oh, they put in the work, oh, they're disciplined. Why do you think we all look up to superheroes, bro? Your favorite superhero is probably Spider-Man, Batman, Superman, all this shit. One, they're jacked as hell. Two, they look good as hell. They have that model look. Three, they, they have that confidence. They have that swag. They have the charisma. Four, they represent kind of real people because they have the struggles. They have what they went through. What they went through. What they felt like. Like me, fucking jacking off, watching porn, playing video games 12, days, uh, 12 hours a day, eating garbage. That was my struggles. It's it's minuscule because I'm telling you now, right now, there's people around the world that has way more struggles than that stupid crap that I had struggles about. What the hell? That's nothing compared to what real people be going throughout in this world. You know what I mean? But for my story, that was my thing. That was my struggle. Whatever. But the main point of that is you look up to a superhero. You want to be a superhero because they represent who you want to be. And you can be that superhero. I'm my own superhero, bro. I'm my own superhero. I'm fucking Mac Method, bro. That's my shit. And this is my fucking program. Anyway. <laughs> Dude, I'm way too into this right now. <laughs> Anyways, guys. You can do it. I'm telling you. You can do it. Dude, if I did it and you seen how far I came, you can do it, bro. Just. You can do it, bro. I'm telling you. The respect you get from Body Game, all that shit is crazy. It's insane. It's insane, dude. Every day, seven days out of a week, I get complimented every single day. And I'm not trying to act like I'm better than you and better than everyone. And I feel, no. But get this. This made me know that no one is better than me. I never felt like I was better than anyone. Even when I started, like, feeling myself and all this shit. I never felt like I was better than anyone, bro. But it proved that no one is better than me, bro. And that's the problem with you. Is you think that people are better than you. When they're not. You're the same as everyone else. Everyone is the same as you. But. You don't have anything. That, you don't have anything to reinforce that belief. Let's go. Upgrade looks. Looks maxing. I'm gonna get fucking pissed if I have to explain another. Dude. Just look, bro. Look at this, and look at this, okay? I'm just going to flash through it, because now I'm just yapping, dude. This is a long video. 
Looks maxi. Hairstyle. Look at this shit ass hairstyle I had, bro. Shave my head. What the? This is not. This hairstyle does not fit me at all. It might fit one of you guys. And as, honestly, I advise you to experiment with hairstyles. Clearly, this is not. I was experimenting this time, obviously. But this is not. This does not suit me. Look at my acne, bro. Look at my eyebrows. No grooming. Nothing. Look at look at this, dude. Look at this. What the? Nose hair as long. As <laughs> oh my god, dude. Look. And then look at now. Or and this isn't now. This is like a couple years. This is like three, two years ago. Um, yeah, it's like two years ago. Anyways. Do hairstyle, grew it out, got cornrows, looks fire, way better hairstyle. Fix my eyebrows, fix my thing. Dude, it's night and day, bro. It's night and day. So, hairstyle, find your hairstyle. We're going to find you your hairstyle, bro. Not everyone has the same hairstyle. Obviously, the buzz cut didn't work for me, but some buzz cuts on some dudes look fucking fire. Long hair on some guys don't look good. Short hair. You know what I mean? Mid taper. All the, there's some hairstyles that usually always look good, always, and we're gonna get into that. Skincare. Your skincare, bro. Hey, listen though. If you only use water and you only put water in your face and you have clear skin, don't change it. Don't add anything new. Don't try to know. If that works, let it. Don't touch anything. Don't add nothing. Nothing. Leave it with the water, bro. But if you don't. You know what I mean? You do water only and your shit is crazy. You have bad acne, all that shit. We're going to get you on a skincare. We're going to get you on some products that is simple products that's going to help you, bro. Because me, I'm going to be honest, looking clearly see from my skin, I don't have the best skin genetics, bro. My skin is makes shit. Currently, right now, I'm actually suffering through some acne right now. You know what I mean? But I, it's not like this, so it doesn't. I don't. It doesn't really bother me like that. Obviously, I want clear my clear skin like I had here, but I already know that my my acne um genetics or my skin whatever isn't the best, and that's fine. I know it's gonna over time it's gonna get better. Dude. I'm not worried about that. I, to be honest, I don't really care that much. But the only way you'll feel like that is when you when you know what it is when you ascend, dude. Men's grooming, like I touched on it. Look at this grooming to fucking this grooming. Look at this eyebrow to <laughs> Let me chill, dude. I'm on dead, dude. Oh man. Clothing and style, dude. Man, I was I remember the exact outfit I was wearing in this picture, bro. This is my passport picture. I was wearing a fresh ass bomb jacket, you know what I mean? A black tee, a black um black skinny jeans handsome i want to say i was wearing these nike boots black boots are fucking dope bro dude i looked dude i upgraded my swag my style everything bro everything is upgraded bro everything and then the fragrance last but not least the fragrance dude you gotta smell good a lot of y'all are walking around smelling like shit like garbage bo get the man dude and 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 I don't want to hear this crap when you go. Oh well, you know, guys don't gotta care about how they smell. We're guys. What the fuck, dude? What are you talking about? And the funny thing is, a lot of you guys. Oh, how do I get women? How do I attract? Maybe if you didn't smell like fucking garbage and bo, you would you would get people coming up to you, bro. Because guess what? I get shit every day, and it's because of how I smell. Oh, you smell so good. Oh, what's that smell? Dude, and I'm going to put you on some nice-ass cologne, too. I'm going to give you all this socks. Like, bro, I'm telling you, get in the... <laughs> okay, but anyways, let me stop, guys. I know I'm on 10 right now, but let's keep going. After mastering the three tenants, you will gain confidence, okay? The three tenants, like I said... Mindset, dream physique, looks maxing. The byproduct is the confidence. You finally get the confidence. That's what you need. It's the confidence. You don't have confidence because you don't have a reason to be confident. I didn't have a reason to be confident. The aura, the charisma, the aura. You walk with purpose. You understand that you matter. You matter. 
You matter, bro. You matter. Make your presence known. Your presence will be known. Trust me, my presence is known. Because all the time people will ask me, oh, you know, what? how'd you get your physique? Oh, man, I like your hair. Oh, man, your clothes look so nice on you. What do you do? What do you do this and that? Do you train people? Like, literally, I went to Walmart the other day. And the and the and I had to buy new headphones or um, new earbuds because I lost them. And freaking the there was three guys that was on the the electronic section and they and they see me because I was just about to go to my gym session. I didn't even have a pump yet. I was just about to go work out, but I needed to buy headphones to do my workout. And um, the first thing they had was like, "Yo, you look fucking Jack. What's your program?" And I told them, "I'm like, bro, get off in the back, brother, man." Anyways, aura. It just, you just breed confidence, bro. You look the part, you feel the part. Once you look good, you feel good. I'm sorry. I know some people don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Once you, if you look good, you feel good, bro. You feel good. And trust me, I feel great. Walk with purpose. Your posture is going to be on point. Your stance is going to be on point. You're going to be more open. You're not going to be so closed off, reserved, like a shell in the corner. and like, Okay. No, dude. No. No. You matter, bro. You matter. I want you to look at these pictures again. This. 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 Um. Now, this is when you really got to be careful. You can't ever forget this. This is like the most important thing. I didn't mention it because I wanted to save it for last. Spirit. There's a higher power. Me, I'm Catholic. My higher power is Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Listen, I'm not telling you guys you got to be Christian. I'm not saying you got to be Catholic. You got to be whatever. Everyone has their own whatever they believe in. I'm not trying to change your belief. This is just what I believe in. But I do believe that everyone should believe in a higher power. And if you don't, that's crazy. To me, that doesn't even make sense. But whatever. You got to humble yourself, bro. A thing you can't fall into the trap is you cannot... You cannot let your you get big headed. You can't feel like you're better than anyone. You can't feel like, oh, I'm better than this guy. Oh, I'm better. You're not, bro. You're not. So sit the fuck down, humble your ass, because there's a higher power. And the only reason why you're able to do what you do and have anything is because of the higher power, bro. He's the one that gives it to you. So humble your fucking ass. You serve your creator. You know what I mean? The same way how I serve my creator, you serve your shit. Um, you know what I mean? You got to be thankful for your position and circumstances. 100%. A, a lot of the times we forget what we have. We're always focused on, oh, well, I need this. I need that. Oh, what? I, I can't wait. But you don't even know. You're not even grateful on what you have, bro. And that's what I had to start doing. I had to realize, like, yo, I live in a house. Yo, I have food that I can eat. I have a phone. I have computers. I have the ability to buy anything, really. Um, well, not really, but the necessities. I can buy the necessities. I can. I have a car. I have a job. Um, you know what I mean? I have the ability to make videos like these. I have the ability to do all this stuff. There's people around the world, bro, that do not have this shit. So if you have this and you're not taking advantage of anything and you're just a loser like how I was, sitting there beating off, jagging off, playing 12 hours a game, what the fuck? Dude, there's people literally, like, bro, your position, even if you're in a shit-ass position, it's not, there's always someone worse. There's always someone worse, bro. Like, always. And and your position to them is like you're you're living like a lavish life, and you might be living a shit ass life, but compared to them, you know what I mean. So just be grateful, bro. You gotta be grateful, bro. This is a this is just a passage I took a picture of of um the Bible I was reading at, 
it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And the reason why they say that is because when you're when you the rich guy usually forgets that God was the one that blessed him and the ability for him to gain those riches. He's in the world now. He's so worldly. Like all he cares about is materials, his things. He's spending all his money on this, spending all his money on that. And doesn't realize that the only reason why he has the money is because God provided him the money. And okay, I don't want to sit here and preach to you guys, but all I'm saying is, bro, there's a higher power. You're not you humble yourself, bro. And pray. That's the only thing. You got to pray, bro. You got to pray. You got to pray. You got to pray. You got to pray on the good times. You got to pray on the bad times. You got to pray on any time, bro. God is always watching. God is always with you. You have to be in constant communication with them. Whether when you're doing good, when you're doing bad, when you don't know what the hell you're doing, when you're lost in the sauce, when you're depressed, because sometimes you lose yourself. Sometimes you will lose yourself and you have nowhere to run. We're always so fixated on, oh, it's just me. Oh, even me. Sometimes I get caught up in that. Oh, it's all me. I'm doing it by my own, this and that. No, I'm not doing that shit on my own. God is doing it with me. So I go back to him when I ever feel like I'm lost. I have nowhere to turn to. I can't even turn to myself. Guess who I turn to? My boy, Jesus Christ. Anyways, let's keep going. Ah, so if you're tired of always doubting yourself, tired of knowing you have potential to achieve the body you always wanted, the look and the mindset, this is it, bro. The Mac method will give you everything you need to achieve this. Facts. Hate, failure hates persistence. Failure hates persistence. One more time. Failure fucking hates persistence. I'm living proof, bro. Do I have to go back? I don't. I don't think I have to go back, right, to the slides to show you guys the pictures, okay? I don't have to go back, bro. Now that you understand exactly how this process works, we have an offer for you. I have a fucking offer for you. If you're a go-getter, hard worker, go hard or go home mindset, we're burning the boats, bro. You know what the fuck they used to do when they used to conquer lands? I forgot what the hell, what group, what tribe. Fucking mad. Probably all of them did this shit. When they went to go conquer islands and damn lands, foreign lands, all this shit, they would sail to the place and they would burn their fucking boats because we're not leaving this shit till we conquer this. There's no going back. All in. I don't give a fuck what happens. Dude, I don't even know if I can post this on YouTube because I'm cursing like crazy. <laughs> no, but the point is, like, you gotta be locked in focus you're you're it's a rebirth okay so if you have that mindset and you're ready to recreate your identity you're ready to transform you're ready to ascend turn super saiyan to be confident strong-bodied and strong-minded person this is the offer bro it's right here if you're looking to gain 25 pounds of muscle Looks max to your fullest potential and develop an unchained mindset using the Mac method without completely isolating yourself and instead attracting quality people to you. I want to work with you, bro. If you made it past this whole video, that's long as hell, 50 minutes. You sat here for 50 minutes. Dude, I want to work with you. All right. Click on the calendar link, set up the call, fill out the information, see if you're right fit for the program. If your ass watched 50 minutes of me talking about this shit, what the, click on the link, bro, stop fucking playing, let's, let's go, let's go.